Hello everyone and welcome to Linux Desktop December Part 10 where I'll be looking at the Moksha Desktop. Now Moksha started out life in 2015 as a fork of the Enlightenment Desktop. So it can be found in Bodhi Linux predominantly, but it also is available for Arch Linux. So it's a very lightweight but fancy desktop. So the Moksha Desktop should be quite lightweight. That's 145 meg of RAM used. Nice. See such low memory usage for this fancy styling here. Got some little effects there, like when I clicked the launcher, the Bodhi logo spun around. The Run Everything launcher has been renamed to the Quick Launcher. So you can start finding applications, either from the recent applications there on the list, or navigating through folders, or start typing in for a text search. So we've got LibreOffice right on here, I noticed. So yeah, go across to there, navigating with the keyboard arrow keys, and yeah, opened LibreOffice up successfully. And it seems to have respected the theming quite nicely. That's the sort of beige colour that I chose. This theme I'm using has the close, minimise, maximise buttons on the left hand side. But well, it's dependent on the theme which side they are. So if we go into the settings and then theme, I don't need to select one of the drop down items there, you just select theme itself. And I just installed some of these through the Synaptic Package Manager. So I could apply that. Yep. Got a whole new colouring now. Very nice, and the close, minimise, and maximise buttons are on the right hand side on this theme. Uh, which ones I had? Moksha Sunshine, that was it. So you can pick different parts of the theme to work on different sections of the desktop. So I could select a different theme for the borders, as well as, well, these many other sections that they have. So Bodhi have chosen Midori for the browser. I think it's got Chromium as well pre installed. Just looking around at resizing the applications. Nope, it doesn't snap anywhere on the edges. But what happens if I double click the bar? Yeah, yeah, same as before. It rolls up. Yeah. Nope, don't even get to drag it off the top. So you're pretty well limited to clicking on the close, minimize, maximize buttons. Moksha seems to be a bit more simplified compared to the Enlightenment. There's a few less options here. And I certainly can appreciate that because Enlightenment is a very complex desktop to tweak. It seems to be loads of different options. So. Shelf settings, so I can add a new shelf. Shelves being panels, really. So, what can we put on here? There's evidence of its forking to Enlightenment. That, that is the Enlightenment logo there. Now, when, I want to mention when I was doing the outro for these videos, I was looking for all the desktop logos, and literally I couldn't find it for Moksha. There is no desktop logo, and I can see why they're still using the Enlightenment logo. So, there we are. I've got a new shelf there with the Everything starter. Look, everything starter. They got it named wrong there. <laughs> Naughty. So I'm gonna put something else in the eye bar. And add. So yeah, it's different customizations for what you can put in the shelf. You can also add items to the desktop. Just go into gadgets, background, configure, desktop gadgets. So what should we add? Let's add a clock. Add. Where's it gone? Where has it gone? Ah, there it was, hidden. I can resize this. Yes. A little animation when you get to the edge for it to indicate you can resize. Nice. Got any options here? Nope, just advanced and the option to remove it. Let's remove that clock so it won't look so obvious when I start cutting this video. I noticed some features have been removed though, like you can't seem to get uh, any other desktop modes on here. It says presentation, but I'm sure they used to have different layouts for like a laptop, netbook, desktop. Yeah, that seems to have gone now. In some respect, you can simplify more streamlining of desktop. You know, I could go and recreate those from the items that are available in the system. So if I look in the file manager, let's go across to places and then home. Perhaps that's not the best icon colour to have of a beige background. Uh, at least the pictures look clear enough. If we go across to music, I uh, just want to open up something. So there's no multimedia integration on the application icon, but there is the VLC icon appeared there in the bottom right hand side. And I can play, pause, stop, and rewind from here. So that was a look at the Moksha desktop. It's certainly got a lot of flexibility here in terms of the theming, and it's very bright and colourful. I can't really think of many negative things to say about this desktop. There are not particularly many Enlightenment slash Moksha specific applications, 
but you do get the consistent theming throughout the system, even on other applications. So that is very nice to have. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.